I say, invite somebody here. Come and sit here. Come and sit here, sir. And I will say, oh, I don't need it. It's just for the first time. Sir. Mr. Nagar Sarah, Mr. Nagar 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 May I raise a very complicated question? May I? Right, sir? Somebody confirm me. <laughs> How would you you had a son here or a daughter. You want to educate them or bring about a holistic life. You got so many students here. capable, intelligent, at least some of them. And <clears throat> how would you bring about, through what means, through what kind of attitude, what kind of verbal explanation would you go through to educate a holistic way of living? That's what I'm proposing. By, I mean by holistic, whole, unbroken, not splintered up, not uh, fragmented, as most of our lives are. So my question is, if I may put it to you, what would you do, in what manner would you educate, how do you bring about a holistic way of living, an outlook that's not fragmented in specializations? How would you help them or educate them to bring this about. Is this too complicated a question? No answer. So first we have to be holistic ourselves. That's understood, sir. But, but first of all, you are educators here, including myself, if you will permit me. I happen to be in Rusha Valley. I like the place, the beauty of the place, the hills, the rocks, the flowers, the shadows on the hills. I like the place. And I'm one of <coughs> the educators, <coughs> educators here. And you, the parents send me one of their children. 
And I want to see that their whole life, from the very beginning of their days, come here. I want to see that they live a life. Whole means good. Good not in the ordinary sense of that word, good. It has a special meaning, not the old traditional word good, you're a good boy, a good husband, good some, that's all very limited in the verbal sense, but it has much greater significance when you relate it goodness to wholeness. I don't know if I'm making any sense. Good has that quality of being extraordinarily generous. Good has that sense of not wanting to hurt another consciously, or may, you may do it unconsciously, but the whole attitude towards life, not to hurt, to do something unkind, consciously, you may say something unconsciously, good in the sense that it is correct, not only for the moment, correct all the time. I'm inventing. Correct in the sense it doesn't depend on circumstances. If it's correct now, it'll be correct hundred years later or ten days later. The correctness, which is connected with goodness, is not related to environment, circumstances, pressure, and so on. So that from that arise, comes right action. I don't know if you're following what I'm talking about. So goodness and holistic way of living go together. And I'm one of the teachers here, educators here. This gentleman sends his son to my, to the school. In what manner I'm going to see that the boy grows in goodness and holistic way of living? That's my question. Do we rely on each other? Is it an individual problem? Or is it the problem of the whole school, of the whole body? So it must be a comprehensive, not that gentleman thinks one way and I think one way about goodness, it must be a cohesive action. Right? Now, is that possible? And do you want that? Sir, so, please, in the word holistic is implied, not the orthodox organized and all the stupid nonsense. But it's that quality of religion which we'll go into presently if we have time. So how am I living here as an educator to bring this about?
Don't leave me alone, sir. The first, the first thing is I have to help the child feel secure in the relationship. Go ahead, sir. I'm just, I'm just exploring. It seems to me that unless the child feels secure in his relationship with me and with the place, nothing further can happen. Oh, sir, I have to find out whether I, that's really what I want to do. Huh? I have to find out whether that's really what I want to do, sir. I don't know, I'm asking, I'm asking you ladies and gentlemen, I don't know. <coughs> and if, if I feel that I, that is really what I want to do, then I must find out what, what do I mean by that. What? What do I mean by that? If I feel that that is what I want to do, then I must find out what is the content of my feeling. Would it not be necessary, sir, if you and I are working together in the school, mm -hmm. not to say what I mean by that, or what you mean by that, but to find out if there is something that is valid for for all of us, not because we <coughs> stick to an idea, or uh, we come together around an idea, but in, in the investigation to see clearly that this, this is it. Sir, do we, you and I, for example, understand what it means to be whole, holistic life, verbally even, logically, rationally, sanely, do we understand what it means to live a holistic life? Yes. Or is it merely a theory? So, perhaps we understand by contrast. We see fragmentation in us, in ourselves, and uh, fragmentation around <coughs> us. And perhaps we and then some if, kind of. Um, if you see the fragmentation yes. or breaking up in, in oneself, then you have the problem how to get rid of it, yes. how to be whole. I don't want problems. I don't want a problem which will, in solving it, will bring about a holistic way of life. You yes. understand what I mean? Yes. Yes, I understand. I don't want a problem about it. Then I'm already broken it up. I don't see what it is. Yes. But so the fact, despite that remains, the fact remains that we are fragmented. That's the point. Now, just me. Don't mind going on. <laughs> I know I am fragmented. My whole thinking process is fragmented. And also, I know, I mustn't make a problem of it, right? Because that's another fragmentation. But sir, my feeling of fragmentation is itself a problem. I don't yes, make a problem. I, see, I understand I see that. A problem. But I, I realize I'm fragmented, but I don't want to make a problem of it. But sir, doesn't it mean that when I see that I'm fragmented, that itself is a problem? That's what I want to get at. That is, I see I'm fragmented. And I've created a problem. I say one thing, do another, think one thing, and contradict what I think, and so on. And so feel unhappy so. and depressed. Different types of fragmentation. And I also see very clearly that I mustn't make a problem of it. Perhaps I don't see that. Um, that's what I want to discuss. 
if I make a problem of it, I've already fragmented it, further fragmented it. Right? But, but there is an in-between stage. Ah, I you know all that. Just a minute, follow what I'm trying to say, if you don't mind. I am aware that I am fragmented, broken up in different ways, not wanting, wanting, and so on, ten different <coughs> ways. If I make a problem of it, saying to myself, I must not be fragmented, that very statement is born of fragmentation. So, something born out of the is another form of fragmentation. So I mustn't make a, I don't know, am I making myself clear? Mm-hmm. Or am I being dumb? So I mustn't make a problem of it. My, my brain is trained to problems. So I must be aware of the whole cycle of it. I don't know if I'm making myself clear. So, what am I to do? <coughs> Careful. What am I? Uh, yes, sir? When you say that I should not make a problem of it, do we have a choice or it becomes automatically? What? What? <coughs> when, when you say that we should not make a problem. No, I did not say I won't make a problem of it. When you see the fragmentation within you, what? When you see the fragmentation within you, you say that I would not like to make a problem of it. I see the truth, not I will not make a problem of it. I see the fact, if I make a problem of it, it's another fragmentation. Yes. That's all. I see it. I don't say I mustn't get, I must get rid of it or I must do something. I just see the fact that if I say I must not, then that <coughs> becomes another fragmentation. That's all. So, what am I to do? Right? I wonder if you're catching on what I'm trying to get at. Is there anything to be done, sir, in this what? case? Is there anything to be done? I'm going to show you presently. <laughs> don't be so eager. <laughs> you don't mind my saying so. Well, the way I uh, see it, that there is nothing to be done, actually just watching or observing. Just wait a minute, sir. Don't come to that conclusion yet. What am I to do? Observe. But don't tell me, sir. These are words. What am I seeing that I am fragmented, aware that whatever I do is another kind of fragmentation? So what is left for me? You don't put yourself in that position. You've already come to a conclusion. So. Conclusion is another fragmentation. I don't know if you follow all this. When you say, I, oh, I can observe you, that's already a conclusion. So you have to say something. And don't you. say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Whom are we talking to? Are we talking to each other? Or you are only listening to the speaker and therefore waiting for him to tell you what to do? You understand my question? So, suppose I have this problem, <coughs> not this question. A way of living holistically in which is involved the quality of a, a religious mind. We'll go into what is really and all that. 
a quality of real deep goodness without any mischief, without any duality. I don't know if you follow it. Am I making things complicated? No. Why not, sir? <laughs> My whole brain is thinks dualistically. Right? It is always in opposition in the sense I want to do this and yet I mustn't do it. Mm -hmm. I should do it, but I don't like to do it. And so on. It's always in this opposing, taking opposing positions. That is frag essentially fragmentation. Right? So. What, what is left for me? <coughs> I see all this at a glance or analysis or I see it, it's like that. Then my question is what am I to do? Don't tell me, oh you should, I don't, I don't accept anything from you. Right, sir? I don't. I'm very skeptical by nature. You are asking this question, what I am to do, what I am, am, I, am I to do, when one is observed, there is no question arising. Now, are you doing it? Yes, sir. I have it, sir. Yes or no. Are you doing it? If you are not doing it, then say, yes, we must try. You are in contradiction. Therefore duality, therefore fragmentation, and hence no goodness and all the rest of it. Sir, as soon as, as, soon as you say, you talk or you think about a holistic state or a state of goodness, you're already in a duality. No, no. You're already in contradiction. No, no. We are not in contradiction. I'm only yes. putting it into words. Right? Holistic includes goodness. Hmm? Right, sir? A, ca a sense of religious. A, a brain that's religious. What do you mean by religion and all that? We'll go into presently. But I'm asking you, what will you do? What's your action? What's your attitude when you want to educate your student in this goodness? But as soon as I have this, I... No, I no, I no. Goodness. No, I have a sir, just a minute. The school has certain reputation, certain uh, eclat, a certain feeling about it. And there is certain atmosphere in this valley. And I send you, my son, hoping that you will help him to grow in this holistic way of life. I'm communicating, it's not contradicting. I, I think um, if you find me explain. You see, the minute I posit a holistic state of life, it's a contradiction to what I actually have. Of course I that. We are trying to investigate the question. We are trying to lay down laws about it. At least I'm not. I really mean I don't. I want to find out what way I can help that student. I may not be holistic, you understand? You understand what I'm saying? 
Don't say you must first be holistic and then you can teach. Then we are dead. Right? Then that will take eternity. And the boy will have gone out and gone to BA or MA or whatever it is. If you say I must first, then you've already stumped yourself, stymied yourself. I wonder if you understand what I'm saying. So I'm not going to say anything. I don't know what to do. Right? I really don't know what to do with this children who comes here with a parent who is wants him to join army or business or something or other, lawyer. And I've got the tremendous opposition of society, right? The father, the mother, the grandfather want him to have a good job, all that. How am I to bring this about? You don't answer me. I don't know. I will not answer the question, how am I to bring this about, but I am looking at the fragmentation. Yes. And in me, and in the world. So, what does that mean? One is... Well, follow it, sir. Don't change it more. Follow it. What does that mean? I am fragmented, fragmented, and the boy is fragmented. Right? Right, sir? Yes. Then what's my relationship in, between the boy and myself? Can I put it in? Huh? We are learning together. Uh, don't use phrases quickly. What's my, what's my relationship with the student? who is fragmented, like myself. I'm not different from him. Huh? I'm not different from him. Yeah, of course you are different from him. You are different from him. You know what you are... You teach mathematics, he doesn't know... But don't say you are not different from him. It's, it's no relationship at all, if I am fragmented... So what... Please, sir, uh, answer my question. You are fragmented. I'm your student. I'm also fragmented. Hmm? Right? What, then what do you do? What's our relationship? <coughs> or is there no relationship at all? Or we are on the same level, right? Ah, that's it. You won't admit that. I'm fragmented, he's fragmented. Not you, son, somebody else. <laughs> I'm fragmented, he's fragmented. He's my student, or I'm his student, better. I'm his student. And what is the relationship? between these two fragments. You understand, sir? I'm asking you this question. It, it can only be a fragmented relationship, if you can call that. Yeah. So, now, what is actually my relationship? I don't want to call it anything. What is my actual relationship with you, who are fragmented, and I, like me, I'm fragmented. What's our actual relationship? There doesn't seem to be any... That's all. How can fragments have a relationship? A Why not? Why not? Are you really asking yeah, that I'm question? Really I'm, really I'm good. You answer it. Sir, <laughs> 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 my interrupt here, something good. You ask me a question. And I'm too eager to reply to it. Right? 
So it goes on between you and me. Hmm? You understand, sir? I answer it, and then you counter it, and then I counter it, and so on. If your question is serious, has that question any vitality? Well, how do you listen to what I He asked me a question. And he expects me to answer it. And I say, I won't answer it. Because in the question itself is the answer. So, can you look at the question and wait for it to flower? You understand, sir? I ask him a question. He won't answer it. Because he says, I don't know. Or I do know, but it has no meaning. Because my question is very, very serious. You understand, sir? And let that question itself flower, not respond to it. I don't know if you follow what I'm talking about. So question itself contains the answer. Right? If you let it flower, <coughs> if you let it alone, don't kind of immediately respond to Because what, your response is already conditioned, already personal, etc., etc. Right? So leave the question. If the question has depth, significance, vitality, then that very question unfolds. Am I talking nonsense? No, I won't. I know I've done this, so it's not nonsense. Sir, yes, me. Is there truth? Does truth exist? You don't know if you're honest. Hmm? Right, sir? So you leave the question. I don't know. Let's look at the question. You understand? And the question begins to unfold. <coughs> is there truth? Or is there only the sense of tremendous, active, vital illusion? So I won't go into all that. It's not my so, what shall I do with the student who I have, who has come here for four months, how shall I, what shall I do, what shall I <coughs> talk about, what shall I... I wish you'd look at it. Narayan, come on, sir. What, 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 what did you exactly mean when you said, is there truth? What? You just now said, is there truth? You? You just now said, is there truth yeah. or only tremendous vital illusion? Yes. You are making a distinction between the two. Of course. Now, can you further go into that? I, know, I don't know, what, we are going off to something else. I am trying to say, if the question has depth, if the question has a sense of great vitality, because the, you are asking the question, question of your own great inward searching or outward searching, and you are putting that question. So let the question itself answer. It will if you let it alone. I don't know if you follow yes. me. Now, I'm coming back to my original question. We're going off all the time. 
so uh, as an as an educator what? as an educator as a teacher uh, i have a child coming to me uh, i am fragmented the child is fragmented so there is a non relation i mean there is no relationships relationship i are you sure there is no relationship i'm um, just saying it no i i think i know i am sure there is no relationship in the fragmented state and uh, <clears throat> i find that any uh, response that i give to the child or uh, to the student would itself be a fragmented response yes now stop there then what will you do you understand is that a statement whatever i have a relationship will be still fragmented mm -hmm. uh, with the student is that a reality or a verbal statement it seems a reality and i and, and, and no, either it's real in the sense that microphone is real there mm -hmm. that's not an illusion the my, the word microphone is not that the word is not that right i don't to see the quality of it so <laughs> that point i came back <laughs> So you think that uh, conceptual understanding is it's not understanding. understanding. <laughs> When I say the door, I mean the door. The fact is there. So then you are using uh, your words in a very different way. No, I don't know. When you said ask the question and leave it alone, and leave it alone. Let it see how what happens to the question. But sir, that means when we ask the question. Remain that you, what you're implying is don't ask conceptual <coughs> questions That's right. that flow from the implications of certain statements. No. Not only um, reflective questions, <laughs> but also haven't you noticed that how question has a vitality? Yes. So let's come back. You're going off. What am I to do, sir? You tell me. I just want to add one more sentence, maybe in the track. Am I fooling myself that I can give a holistic? We're going to find out, sir. We're going to find out you or not whether it's possible to do it or not, right? Yeah. The first statement is we are both fragmented. Let's. stick to that not move away from that and i and i don't know what to do right right sir are you clear i don't know what to do what does that mean to you i don't know careful i don't know Yes, sir. I don't know what to do. Right? Then I must investigate. When I say I don't know, what do I really mean? I really don't know. Or am I waiting for somebody else to tell me so that I will know? Which is it? Yes. Sorry. At the moment, the latter. <coughs> huh? The moment, the latter. To be very yes, honest. sir. Is there a state of the brain when it says, "I really don't know"? What's my question? I really don't know. I'm not waiting for him to answer, or memory operating. You understand what I'm saying? 
or expecting someone else to tell me. All those states are I was waiting for an answer. You understand? But no one can answer this because they're all fragmented. Therefore, I'm, I'm waiting, watching, looking, observing, listening to the question. Right? I don't know what to do. I wonder if you understand what I'm talking about. Right? Yes. Then I ask myself, what is the state of my brain? He says, I don't know. At that point of time, it is non-functioning. I don't know. Or you're waiting for it to know. Waiting for it to know. Therefore, you are waiting to know. Therefore, you will know. Therefore, your brain is not saying, I don't know. <laughs> it's all very logical. I think the brain doesn't say it. What's up? The brain never says it. That's it. That's the first thing. The brain never acknowledges or remains in the state I don't know. Right? Ask you what is Ishvara, <laughs> and you promptly answer because you have read, you have, or you don't believe, or you believe, and you Ishvara comes as a symbol to you. Hmm? But you say, what is that element that created this? Said, I won't go into this. This is a tremendously interesting question. What is life? I won't. It's too complicated. I won't do it now. The beginning of life. What is the life in the seed that you plant? You understand? The life of man, what is the origin of that life? The very cell. Oh no, I'm hoping. This leads off somewhere else. So, <coughs> I don't know how to deal with that boy or with myself. Any action I do, any movement of thought is still born out of fragmentation, right? So I really don't know. So may I proceed? What is love? Is it related to hate? <coughs> if it is related, love then is still fragmentation. Right? <laughs> you understand my, what I am saying, sir? Yes, sir? It's not the opposite of hate. hate. So what is love? It's nothing to do with pity, sympathy, all the rest. What is love? You don't know. Right? Is that state of not knowing love?
Oh, Lord, you'll all be mesmerized. <laughs> So, so, it leads so far, so deep, I don't know if you want to go into all this. I don't know what to do with that boy, huh, or girl, because we both are fragmented. I can teach you mathematics, geography, history, biology, chemistry, and psychiatry, or anything. Hmm? But that's 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 nothing. Sorry. <laughs> but this demands much deeper inquiry, right? Very much deeper. So I said, "What is it that is?" that is completely holistic. Certain of thought. Right? Thought is expanding and all the rest of it. It's certainly not sympathy. Not generosity. Not empathy. Not saying you're a nice chap, we're friends. Love has what? Compassion. Love, compassion, what? All right. That is the only thing that's holistic. I'm just discovering something for myself. Right? I say, love is not thought, love is not pleasure. Don't accept what I have, for God's sake, that's the last thing. Right? Love is not utterly unrelated to hate, jealousy, anger, all that. So, as a, love is really completely unbreakable, it is it's whole. And it has its own intelligence. Compassion, love has its own intelligence. Of course. Oh gosh. Am I talking nonsense? I heard you say this before in different yeah, words. Different ways. I'm coming back to that. So, not knowing to know. To know, what does that mean, to know? Is to love. I know, just listen, you're not listening. To know. I know my wife. Right? Can you ever say about a person I know? Shut off in some way. Yeah. I mean, if I say I know Radhika Ji, what do I know about her? So, to say I know is fragmentation. I should have been following on. Is it question? Yes. To say I know. I'm talking about human beings. I know that he's palm tree. I don't know. I know that's a tiger. But to say, I know him, is a violation. The brain is so dull. What? The brain. Your, your brain is so damn dull. <laughs> 
this up. It's, it's, it just gets it's rooted. It, re, it's re, it remains rooted in all this yes, sir. knowledge. So, sir. I ask you a question, which is, can I help the student or uh, talk to him? Because I know I'm fragmented, he is fragmented. Hmm? And I also know, have a feeling, that love is whole. Compact. Therefore, compassion, love has its own intelligence. And I am going to see if that intelligence can operate. I don't know if I am conveying it. So you think it's an assumption? What? An assumption. What? To say that love uh, has its own intelligence, yes. to say that love is holistic, is not fragmented. Is that just an assumption? Mm-hmm. I'm talking about myself. Yeah, but I mean, it's not an assumption. Love is not an assumption, my God! Maybe it is, because I don't know. No, then remain, I don't... Now, you don't know, then wait, find out. Don't answer it. I don't know how to run, what the inside of a modern car is, right? I don't know. I have, as a matter of fact, stripped a car, old cars. I know how it works, I know all the gadgets of it. But modern car I wouldn't touch, because it's too complicated. So, I want to learn about it, if I may. So, I go to a garage man and he says this, this, he teaches me, because I want to know how it works, right? I take the trouble, I take the pain, I pay him if I have the money, or work with him, till I know every part of that car. Right, sir? That means I want to learn. Right? But I'm not sure you want to learn. As I want to learn about a car. You understand, sir? I'm not at all sure you want to learn. But Krishnaji, in this, this very wanting to learn. Don't translate no, into fragmentation. No, I'm not. I, I, I'm saying I've, I've, I've done a lot with, with you on this. Hmm? I, I wanted to learn and wanting to learn itself. See, as we understand the word wanting to learn. Hmm? Sir? Today I don't want to learn. Please listen to what I'm saying. Today, today, I don't want to learn, to, to learn in the sense to know more about it, to know, so I just, don't want to do it. Just a minute, just a minute. I don't know about the, how those cameras work. Hmm. Hmm? And you say, learn about it. Hmm? Yes. I ask him, I become his apprentice, I become, I watch how he does it, I learn about it. Then I say, I know how to work that camera, right? But I, human beings are not that camera. They're much more complicated, silly asses, much more psychologically, psychiatry, they are like a basic machinery. And I want to know how their brain works. 
Either I become a biologist, that's me, a brain specialist, or I study myself, which is much more exciting than going to a brain specialist. He only knows, that's me, that's me. So, I learn how my brain works. Right? There is nobody to teach me. There may be. Huh? There may be also. I don't trust them. Yes, but I listen to them. Ah, I don't trust anybody. Yes, true. Agreed. I don't trust anybody. <coughs> All their knowledge is from books. All from their small little self. So I say, I'm going to investigate this whole way of living. Not just parts of the whole way of living. So I had a teacher, I, I had a teacher, please, who, who I felt, who, who I felt had an extraordinary understanding about the nature of human beings. <coughs> I wanted to learn. I began with that teacher, learning. The teacher pointed out hmm, the nature of the brain, the nature of the cells, the nature of And I began to learn in the same way in which I learned everything else. Oh, no. No, please. Krishna. I understand. I understand. I did. I did. I began to gather knowledge, which is what learning really means. Learning as we know it. Learning as we know it is merely accumulating yes, memory. Merely accumulating memory, but there is an observing in it. Yes, 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 yes. I mean, don't make a complication. Yeah. So, Learning. one observed, one remembered, one got what one called insight. I, I, I don't yes, know. I know. I, I said understand. what one called insight. Something new, <coughs> something which one had not known earlier, something which seemed to, uh, to make the picture better, larger, and so on and so on. <coughs> you come to a point when you see that this process of making the picture is endless. There's nothing to do with so what? the real thing. So at the end of it, what? So, so what is this learning? This that's is not a, learning. I consider that's not learning. Yes, I'd say so, that's not learning. So what is learning? Surely not memorizing is not learning. No, that's not learning. But that's what you're doing. <coughs> Ajay, is there another way of learning? Is there something entirely different from the ordinary learning. You understand my question? Is there? I don't know. Yeah. <coughs> do you want to know? No. Do you want to find out? Is there is another way of learning, not memorizing, 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 and then remembering, acting skillfully and so on, and so on, and so on. We know that very well. Now he comes along and tells me, look, don't be that's mechanical all that's that. mechanical. He says there is another way of learning. Right? Will I listen to him? Will I take the trouble say, tell me about it? I'm receptive, I'm anxious, I'm willing to find out. So he begins to tell me, am I capable of listening to what he's saying? Or my whole brain revolts against
because he's used to one pattern and to break that pattern is the real difficulty. And trying to break it is useless. Huh? And trying to break that pattern is useless. That the makes, idea of breaking that makes that another problem. Absolutely. I don't want. I don't want to do that. So first, I ask myself: Do I really want to learn? This is very. Go on, sir. Don't ask me. I'm. A, I'm asking you: Do you really want to learn? Or is another chapter to add to your memory? Another book. See, yes, I understood. I understand. I see what you say. So let's come back. What am I to do? Or not do? Or the question is much deeper than merely the boy and the girl whom I'm educating. So it might be I have not really understood verbally even what it means to live a holistic life. Understood intellectually. I don't even follow what I'm talking about. No, 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 no. So you say verbally and intellectually, yes, <coughs> I would say yes. No. Are you sure? No, I'm, I'm fine. I, I, well, you have used two words. I'm sure intellectually. So you have separated the intellect from the whole. Therefore, you all. So I, I listen, I listen to you, but I must. Okay, I listen. To you. <coughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. What? Sorry. What about? For not listening, you were saying something. And I was <laughs> <laughs> Sir, when you say I understand intellectually, hmm, it means just bananas. So, sir, I don't say I understand just intellectually. I say, sir, when one. You're not listening, old boy. When one says, I understand it intellectually, it means absolutely nothing. Yeah. Right? When you say intellectual, that's another that fragment. So, don't use the word, I understand intellectually. That's a cry. Now, what am I, an educator, Rishi Valley? I understand partially what it means, verbally even, a holistic way of living. And knowing that he and I are both fragmented. Right? Are you listening? You're getting no, bored. No, I'm not bored. I'm not bored. You can't sustain attention. So how do you say that? I'm not bored, not at all. You were not listening just then. I don't know what to say to you. <laughs> yes, I am. I've got to watch in front of you. Five minutes more and stop. May I finish this? I'm in Rishi Valley, lovely place, beautiful hills and all the beauty of the earth here. I wonder if you know what I mean by beauty. No, I won't go into that for the moment. I'm here. I'm responsible for the parents, for that boy or girl, right? 
We have sent them because we have good reputation. We look after them, we do all that. That's not the point. He comes along and tells me, it's all right, but what matters is a holistic way of life. Not intellectual, but the whole psyche, the whole being, the whole entity, which is now fragmented, if that can be whole, then you have done most extraordinary education. He tells me that. And he goes away. And I don't know what to do. I, I understand the verbal meaning of whole, non-fragmented not broken up, not saying one thing and doing something else, thinking something and doing quite the opposite to that. Mm? All that is fragmentation of life. And I don't know what to do. I really mean deeply, profoundly, gravely, seriously, I don't know what to do. Right? Am I deceiving myself when I say I don't know what to do? Or waiting for somebody to tell me? Or some book, something will accidentally come along and give me quote, unfortunately that word, insight. So I can't wait for that, because the boy is going up in the meantime, <laughs> kicking around. So, what shall I do? I know one thing, Absolutely for certain. I don't know. Right? I don't know. All my inventions, all my thinking have collapsed. Right? I don't know if you feel that. I don't know. So, I am. The brain is open for reception. You understand what I'm saying? The brain has been closed by conclusions, by opinions, by judgments, by values, by my problems. It's closed thing. <coughs> when I say I really don't know, I've broken something. I've broken the bottle, which held the champagne. <laughs> out of that, I begin to find out when the bottle is broken. Right, sir? Then I find out what love is, what compassion, what that intelligence, intelligence that's born out of compassion. It's nothing to do with intellect. I work at it. <coughs> right, sir, it's now an hour and thirty-five, seven minutes we've talked. Is that enough? Have I mesmerized you all? <laughs> so we never come to the point when you say, I don't know. <coughs> right? You ask me about God, I have immediate answers. Or you ask me about chemistry, 
out comes me. The tap is open. Sociology, any damn thing, I'm ready to answer. Whether I We'll meet after tomorrow, don't we? Yes. <coughs> I hope you can bear it. You see, I'm one of those idiots, sir. I haven't read a damn thing. Except no one. You understand? It's a fortunate thing. And who doesn't think also, sir? What? And who doesn't think also? No. It's like a drum, sir. It's all tuned up. When you strike on it, it gives the right note. <laughs> I hope you're on time.